social and communication difficulties can present in a number of different ways. First of all, you might find it difficult to your child to show creativity. Early signs of social and communication difficulties might be that your child doesn't ask for things, that they are more passive and wait for things to be done to them rather than engaging socially. You might have difficulties playing with other children and finding it easier to play alongside or withdraw themselves completely from those sort of activities. Most children want to engage and make friends, but maybe for your child it's harder to maintain friends, so they start off making friends, but they don't keep up, something goes wrong. Your child might find it harder to understand the social rules of the game, and some children end up being the controller because they don't know the rules, and so it's much easier to be the boss and organise things rather than actually taking turns, so turn-taking. Winning and losing might be harder because you don't know the rules and so you don't know when you've lost and you can't control that. So your child's emotions might be closer to the surface as well. So making and keeping friends, turn-taking, lack of creativity might be signs of social and communication difficulties. So your child might not, when they've been younger, play the creative games with cars and garages or playing house or... Uh, those sort of things uh, may be signs of a social and communication difficulty. Some children have difficulties with communication in terms of understanding and decoding information from other people. So this might be just you talking and them not being able to understand all the, um, the commands that you've been given. So you might be giving too many instructions. But it might be understanding your emotions as well. This is um, being able to empathise with you, actually noticing that you're upset or you're really happy or you're angry, not until you do the big stuff or you shout loudly that your child picks up on these cues. So not being able to cue into other people's emotions might be very um, important to pick up on. They're not noticing until things get very big. Um, they're not able to pick up when you are actually very angry with them and show remorse. And these are the things that you might need to pick up on. And if you are noticing things, you might need to get a referral to a child and adolescent psychiatrist or a clinical psychologist or a speech and language therapist just to check their speech and language and communication skills.